In this video, I will discuss Merge Sort and its visualization in the Java system. I'm on Java's hypertextbook for the Merge Sort algorithm. Many of the algorithms in Java have a corresponding hypertextbook. These hypertextbooks explain the algorithm to a student so they have some knowledge of the algorithm before using the visualization. Additionally, the hypertextbook explains any conventions of the visualization. I will now look at the Java visualization of Merge Sort. First, I go to java.org and click on the button to start the visualizer. Once Java opens, I click on Connect, select Merge Sort from the drop down menu, and click Visualize. The window that opens allows us to enter our own data or have random data generated for us. We'll paste in our own data this time. We are now in the main visualization window of Java. On the left, we have a set of boxes with the values we entered. These visually represent the array of values in memory. On the right is a pseudocode version of the merge sort algorithm and the values of the variables in the pseudocode. Notice the line which is highlighted. This line is the next one to be executed in our visualization of the algorithm. The Java system allows us to move forward and backward in our execution of the algorithm. Notice that a question has popped up. Occasionally the student is asked a question randomly generated by the Java system. This is a multiple choice question and it reads, which of the events will happen next? And provides a list of choices. The correct answer is branch to the left, but we'll choose another choice to see what happens. We select branch to the right and click check answer and it says wrong try again. We select branch to the left and click check answer and it says correct. Additionally, Java is a quiz mode in which students are required to answer the question and students' results are sent to the professor for grading purposes. We will continue through our execution of the algorithm. A recursive call to the merge sort function was made. The left portion of the list branching out indicates which portion of the entire array is passed in as the list variable for this call to the merge sort function. On top of the pseudocode, the line of text has changed. This line shows the current call stack, and as functions are called or finished, it will grow or shrink as expected. We'll move forward in the algorithm. A call in the merge function has been made, and the pseudocode window shows the code and variables for the merge function. Additionally on the left, the blue triangles indicate the elements L index and R index that are being compared, and in this case, the destination of the smallest of the two compared items. As we step forward, the upper blue triangle now indicates where the remaining element will be placed. Another question pops up, and this one is fill in the blank. It reads, there will be blank comparisons from this point until the end of this call to merge. The answer is 3, so we'll type in 3 and click check answer. It says we're correct. Students can turn off questions by going to option and clicking show questions. However, in quiz mode, questions cannot be turned off. We will skip to the end of the visualization. As you can see, the list is properly sorted. 